Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, we have a horizontal rope tied to a 50 kilogram box on frictionless ice, and then we have these three situations. So for part A, we need to figure out what the tension in the rope is if the box is at rest. Let's write the formula for forces, which of course is MA, and let's draw the free body diagram here. So we'll have tension here in the rope, and then obviously we'll have a normal, and then weight, and then the object right there at the box. So since it's sliding along at frictionless ice, it's not gonna be accelerating in the Y component at all, so we won't worry about that. We're really just looking at the X component here. But if the box is at rest, the acceleration will be zero because it's not moving at all. So the forces, or the tension, will be equal to zero newtons. For B, we need to figure out what the tension in the rope is if the box moves at a steady speed of five meters per second. And so it's actually the same thing. Steady velocity will give us zero for the acceleration because acceleration is a change in velocity over a change in time. If the velocity is not changing, acceleration is zero, and it's the exact same here as A, the tension will also be zero newtons. That one's a little bit counterintuitive because if you think in your head, you're like, well, if it's pulling it, there would have to be some tension, but it would be zero. Now lastly, for part C, we need to find what the tension in the rope will be if the box has a velocity of five meters per second and an acceleration of five meters per second squared. And for this one, we actually don't care about what the velocity is. All we care about is the change in the velocity for the acceleration here. And so we want to find what the force is. And in this case, it's gonna be tension. So the tension will be equal to mass times the acceleration. And the mass is 50 kilograms, 50 kilograms multiplied by the acceleration, which is five meters per second squared. And we're having kilograms multiplied by meters per second squared, which is the expanded form of what a Newton is. So we'll end up with the correct units. So five times five is 25. So five times 50 is gonna be 250 Newtons.